there's punishment. That's the judge's power. Like, they have the power to do that. There's nothing wrong with the judges doing that. You know that, right? Like, it's yes. the judge's power to decide what the fuck they want to do. And 10 times out of 10, again, it's due to, like, how they personally feel. Yeah, I, I'm just going to, like, attack the uh, original analogy you gave with the uh, cop and the jaywalking. Is that fine? That's, yeah, that's how you debate, man. That's how you, yeah, that's what you do. No, okay, cool, right? Uh, I don't think that knowledge will really correlate based off the fact, right? That wouldn't be abolished in the crime. It would just be the basis of this cops not upholding the law itself and, like, what they're supposed to, what the cops are supposed to stand for, right? The cops are supposed to stand for, like, giving out and uh, punishing, <coughs> like, crime that you did. They're supposed to serve out that in the singular sentence. It wouldn't be, like, them abolishing the law. It would just be them not doing their jobs. Now, like, this prove this again with the instances. If it's shown in the past to not be true, especially, like, if you're dealing with lies, I'm not going to go with morality of killing somebody because I really don't feel like arguing that at all. Right? If you're going to, like, kill an innocent person, which we already agreed, right? A death penalty shouldn't be like that. It should be uh, neutral for everybody. But it's also shown it not to be neutral. No, there should be a... a, a yeah, con- hold on. It should be a double oh, wait. Uh, wait. It should be neutral for everybody, but again, in the society that we live in, stuff like that, judges are meant. They're, they're, the way you convince judges, you have to you have to appeal to emotion. So again, it doesn't. If you show me instances of them being biased, you have to like you have to know what really happened. Judges appeal to emotion. They appeal to like what's happening, how you're convincing them. So whoever like is convincing them the most, right? Give it or not, they're biased. Give it or not, they're biased at all. It doesn't, like, it doesn't matter. It, it literally doesn't matter. Like, they, you, it's a convincing argument. You have to give a convincing argument, right? Because you know there's certain, you know there's certain crimes where, like, you can be put up to, to death penalty or not, right? So let's say, like, let's say if I slaughtered a whole family and I, kill, and I killed my daughter, right? That's a crime that could be put up for death penalty, Right? If a, if the if the lawyer gives a convincing like argument that like why you shouldn't be like held to death, then that's not biased that you didn't go and get the death penalty. That's just like every time you're gonna show me it's just like the judge is being convinced a certain way. Like it's, that's all it is. I don't think it should be ab- abolished because again, that's the power that we give the judges. It, it, it's, that's not that's nothing wrong with that. I like, I may sound crazy by saying there's nothing wrong with like judges being biased, but. And then there's a general bias between judges. Like, they appeal to emotion. Whoever's emotionally grabbing them, they're going to, like, win. That's usually, like, how stuff works. Yeah, I, Especially I, I, they're female I get, judges. I get, I get what you're going from, right? Now, that's the interpretation that, like, no, not really the interpretation because that's true, right? That's what society is based upon these days, right? That's what I'm saying. We should take away the death penalty in the society that we live in if we're going to just, like, be non-biased towards everybody inside of it. In this day and age, the death penalty shouldn't be a thing if it could just be used menacingly for no reason against people that are truly innocent. In one server, I made two. Yeah, well, hold on. Uh, but again, that's exactly like why I think it should be the case because again, I'm like repeating myself. That's what judges do, right? That judges have the power to be convinced. Like whoever emotionally appeals to a judge, right? No matter what the reason be, you give me a good argument, right? Or you piss me off, I have the like that's their right. That's that that's their right. They it, you know where is it stated like by where is it stated in like the rule books that the judges like it's object you have the judges objectively have to do this, that, and the third. Like what, do you know do you not know how much sure power the judges have? Like do you do you want me to show how much power judges have? Yeah, I know exactly how much power judge has. Yeah. Their words so it's people. yeah, so like every case is just based off of them. Like it, like it doesn't like matter. Like it's just the judge. It's literally just their opinion. That's how much powerful they have. You're like the the whole law, the whole court, like system, is based off of an opinion. So you can't get mad. An opinion is like different, or follows in a consistent pattern. That doesn't mean you abolish it. It it follows in a pattern of the judge's opinion. You know that, right? That's that's like my definition of what the judges do. They they uh, they they give an opinionated yeah. view. Upon like who won a debate? Yeah, yeah, and, and, and I could agree what you're saying, right? Because I know what you're trying, trying to argue from your standpoint on what you're arguing from. Like, I'm just gonna like repeat myself like real quick, and then we can like go to conclusions. So that's fine if you right. Mm-hmm. You, you find a yeah, all right, fine. right. So, so again, like your real logic about the uh, it's a it's down to whoever could like persuade the other person the most, right? 
If like if it's down to that, right? Now I can just persuade somebody who's shoplifted, persuade to the judge that like, yeah, they should get the death penalty. That would be equal to somebody else who like killed a bunch of families and they don't get the death penalty. That's why I said it. It isn't equal. It isn't, it isn't justified. Like if you want, we could get the conclusions well, now. Well, well, well yeah. hold on. Do you know the reason why it wouldn't be equal? Because by definition, judges have to be convinced a certain way with argumentation and like rhetoric in real life. It, like, yeah. yes, there's reasons why people do not get certain punishments like others. Like, do you, do you know why? It, it, it's because their lawyers are that good. That's, that's literally, yeah. that's the whole point of the court system. Yeah. I didn't see people get away with, I didn't see people get away with murder they could, just because they got convinced. You feel me? Yeah, no, like, I agree it's all that about, fact, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with yeah, that fact. Yeah, the, that penalty is just all, like, in the judge's opinion. In my opinion, like, that's really what it is. Is there now I think there's nothing wrong with that because that's, like, that's what we, in, but, like, all of history of America, that's what we, like, agree to, that the judges have this much power. You know what I mean? Of course, there's been a lot of cases where people have been innocent and judges do not give a fuck. It's uh, all opinionated. And so, for you to make this argument, do you want to argue that, like, the whole idea of a judge should be banned? Like, do you think that? Do you think a whole idea of a judge should be banned? Because no matter what, from the dawn of history in America, judges have, like, been, they've been biased, they've been opinionated, but again, looking like the look of, like, how judges are defined, like, with their power, it is in their power to do what they please. Like, it's, they can do what they please. So do you want to, like, abolish the whole judge system? I don't want to abolish the whole justice. I just want to abolish the fact that he could use the power to send him out somebody off to death with the death penalty, which I already agreed that shouldn't happen. Like, well, okay. Well, well, okay. Then that means you want to abolish the judge system because by definition, the judge system gives them power to do anything they want to do. That's why I kept asking you, do you know how much, do you know how much a power a judge really holds? Yeah, they, they so have like, objective weight throughout like, the whole court. Yeah. Yeah. And, and again, like, do you, like, know, like, why, like, there's different, like, types of rhetoric? Like, you know why, right? You know why there's an appeal to emotion? Like, you know why? Uh, like, you know why you stuff is, like, like that? You give a good reason. That's why I, like, try to contest it. Like, if you want, we could go to, like, conclusion so it doesn't go circular. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you want to conclude first. You can conclude first. <laughs> you conclude first? I, I, I think mm-hmm. I won the point because I don't want to say I know. Based off the fact is we already agreed on the uh, definition of the capital punishment should be a crime or like a uh, execution that we uh, purposely served out based on the criminal's crimes or the fact that it's uh, supposed to be neutral and non-biased. I uh, showed how it could be unbiased due to the fact of multiple court cases with racial injustice, which isn't neutral. It then also contended the fact that uh, even if like lawyers could persuade the judges, they want to be fair to the uh, person that's being executed due to the fact that it's really based on part of the judge. It, was, it wouldn't be neutral. That's all I got. You can uh, continue with your conclusion. Okay. In conclusion, I think I won because I agreed upon like, the death penalty. There's like certain crimes where like if you commit them, you can be put up for the death penalty. That's like literally how it works. But like how the judge system works is if you get like put on, if you get put on like, if say if you do that crime, how judgment works is judging if you deserve the death penalty or not, based off, like, what happened, based off what's presented in the case. So your crime that you committed may have been, like, death penalty worthy, but it doesn't mean you automatically have to do it, because as since he agreed that he didn't want to abolish the judge system, it's all in the judge's power. So it's basically him conceding to the fact that it, it can be biased. It doesn't matter, because based off everything, like, we went through our whole life, and as America... It's it's the it's just in the judge's decision, and I don't think there's something he 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 never made like the argument that it's not there's something wrong with the judge's decision. So if he doesn't like if he's not trying to attack the judge system like being bad in itself, then like his argument just falls apart. That's what it would be based upon. That's what it'd be based upon basically. But you can give your um judgment, Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo, you give your judgment. Yeah. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> So basically what that boy was arguing and why I think he won, he was arguing that like the entire judicial system is based off of a judge giving their opinion on this crime and that crime. And it would just all be in their opinion. So him saying that it's not fair for um, 
somebody to die based off of something. He said he literally agreed that um, uh, what's it called? That would apply for any crime. So him saying that he would have to say that he wanted to abolish the entire judicial system, which I'm pretty sure he said he didn't want to do. So I think Dead Boy won based off of that. All right, you wouldn't like you you agree classical? The only thing I the only main thing I disagreed with uh, when I gave the answer to the judge thing, I said it like I don't want to get rid of the judges, but I do want to get rid of the death penalty since it'd be like since I agreed with the appeal to a motion, it would just be like a non biased yeah. judge to decide on who should yeah. die or shouldn't. But but every but every like penalty that you get derives off of the judge's decision. You feel me, right? Everything, like, it doesn't matter what the fuck you do. Anything that's in law, any law that you break, and if, you, like, get, if you're getting punished for it, it's the judge's decision. That's, like, how much power they hold. They hold, like, they literally, like, they're like fucking gods, and they watch over these fucking laws, and they can manipulate them in a way where you, like, you don't get in trouble. You feel me? Like, that's, that's why I kept asking you the question. Like, I was, I was in the presupposition that you knew exactly how it worked. Like, that's how it works. Like, they, they can just control if they want to. That like like again, you seen innocent people get away. Uh, have you seen innocent people go to jail for shit they didn't do? You seen guilty people get yeah, away for shit they did do? Yeah, yeah. and but 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 there's nothing you can say there's something wrong with it, but objectively there's nothing wrong with it because that's what we all agreed to. Since we're not since we're not like disagreeing with the judicial system, basically, and all penalties have to derive off the judge's opinion. Like that's like if you look it up, like everything based is based off the judge's opinion. You can't do nothing about it either, basically. But yeah, GG's man. Yeah, that was a good. Uh, I'm not gonna say that was a good debate. Not fuck that. But like, yeah, thanks for debating. Mm-hmm. No problem. Yeah, I'm going to my. Uh, uh, split gate. You said what? You suck at split gate. 